While Major League Baseball players can make tens of millions of dollars, minor leaguers often live paycheck to paycheck, and that's why some players are finding their home base in some unique living conditions. Here's CBS's Charlie DeMar. Life in the minor leagues isn't all big money and glamour, especially when it comes to where you live. A lot of people are in host families, and sometimes I've heard stories they don't have Wi-Fi, TV, air conditioning. Beds. I've heard situations where guys didn't have beds. Beds. It's yeah. some scary stories, man. <laughs> yeah. Ask Chase Dawson and Blake Grant Parks chasing big league dreams with the Schaumburg Boomers, and they'll tell you they hit a home run. So long. You guys going up? Yeah. Okay, good. After each game, they come home to the most unlikely place, Friendship Village, a retirement community in the Chicago suburbs. I've got three big boxes of these. Where residents like the vibrant Velma Robinson roam the halls and the greens. Wow. <laughs> Here, it's not just bingo and board games. They just are exciting to talk to mm -hmm. and somebody different. My first re uh, reaction was, really? Yeah. And I was like, you know what, let's do it. Velma's awesome. I couldn't believe it was 95. We got a date next Tuesday with yeah. Velma. For years, Velma's made friends with players younger than her grandkids. <laughs> you threw out the first pitch, I understand. Yeah. What was that I like did. for you? <laughs> Two or three boomers have spent the last nine seasons here. Any piece of advice that has stuck with you? Keep chasing your dreams. 2-1 to Dawson. Bingo. Charlie DeMar, CBS News, Chicago.